Three megastars we love seeing heat up the big screen and stage went behind the camera for an issue affecting millions, breast cancer. Jennifer Aniston, Demi Moore, and Alicia Keys each directed powerful films in a project called Five, showing how breast cancer affects their families and their friends. These three talented women stopped by our studio last week to talk about their latest project. Three superstars used to the spotlight, now turning their talents behind the camera, each directing part of a candid new TV movie that follows five women coping with breast cancer. Yes. I know that you were part of the driving force behind getting this together. And with all of the people, mm -hmm. dear friends and family that we know who have walked through this, this would be what it change and well, how exciting and then to see today sitting here like just the seed for, yeah. of all the energy this powerful energy being put towards this one beautiful beautiful project part of what motivated me was 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 wanting to really bridge that that divide that says no that happens to other people and not be afraid and, and in doing so hopefully to to share that with others about the value and the importance of you know, getting out of that denial. Your what character reminded me a lot of my character. Wow. Yeah, Lily. She really did, and her, the dynamic with her family, and that this was a new venture for you, being behind the scenes. Did you like it? Yes, this was my first time directing, and I am in love. So I, I love it, and uh, you'll see me behind the camera more uh -oh. often. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Thanks. Well, let's, <laughs> get everybody, <laughs> let's give everybody a taste <laughs> of what you were just talking okay. about. Ah, this, is, this is Lily, the character that uh, Alicia directed. This Listen to is your cousin's third damn wedding and you are going. Okay, Mom. You are going unless you are in jail or giving birth or have cancer. You're going to the wedding. Mom, now, I don't care Mom, what you Mom, do. Mom, you Mom, push. Mom. She does, okay? Lily has cancer. Lily has breast cancer, okay? You happy? Uh, I don't think they heard you back there, so. Lily's family, I mean, it's such a powerful dynamic because everyone is kind of their own interesting person. Mm -hmm. But who's going through what and all they're going through together. And that's what we deal with as families. Mm -hmm. And to make yeah. that all connect in that fashion. And yet each is... director has their own distinct fingerprint, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. want to play your character. Okay. Yes. Charlotte. Yes. Here we go. Why did you take mommy's necklace? What? You took her necklace. I saw you. No, I didn't. It's in that bag. Your mama doesn't need this necklace right now. It isn't yours. You know, my piece really shows how one event can really define the direction of someone's life. And in this case, it's our lead character, Pearl, who carries us through the whole story. And also the reflection of how we dealt with things in that time, which was basically to not speak about it, to hide it, um, and, and to deny it. I love how Ashton sent you beautiful flowers and a card that says, I believe in you. Oh. Did you send anything for two and a half men? I mean, what, like, tw I think 100 million people watched the day? View? I did send him. I, I, I sent him flowers also. Oh. I sent him an orchid. Beautiful. But what's lovely is, is the ones he sent me, um, they arrived in the little room that is the room that she spends the entire time trying to get into. Mm. And they're in the scene. Oh. And so it was a very, like, small, it's a, one of those small little gems that I know. Shall we meet your character, Miss Aniston? Let's meet her. On behalf of the bank, I have to say, you're not the best bet. There's no collateral. In fact, you have no assets. You used to have a house that was nearly paid off. You used to have a blue... Really do something like this. I can't find a way to play this. And I said, it's... Mm. You, if, if, you feel like such an ass. And it's like, well, you are. <laughs> Beautiful. You, the last time you were here, you were stopping tra Oh, like, again, we're in a fishbowl. I have to look up and a few people stop by. But when you were out there on Military Island and you were singing Empire State of Mind and we talked about your son is about to be this many. This many. Oh, he's about to be one already. Where does that go? He's actually Jennifer's girlfriend. Oh. oh. He's Jen's girl's boyfriend. Kiss. Yeah. He kissed her. And I was like, wow. I, felt so, I was like, and it was kind of tender. <laughs> I'll give you the final word, Mr. Director. So what do you want people that sit down, they're watching five? It can be dealt with. You know, it can be 
you can solve it. You can heal right. it. Right. You can face it. Yeah. Right. Especially. And, you can and, you face and, you it. Give, and let me tell you, you're going to give a lot of people hope. If we can do that and walk away with just people have done a lot. And that's our job. That's right. That, that's, that's, a, that's a lovely thing to say. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Now let's join hands and sing Kumbaya. Yeah. Kumbaya, yeah. <laughs> my Lord. It was lovely spending time with them. And five premieres October 10th on Lifetime. Must see TV, Lara.